Welcome to another learning session of Allen Educate. So for today, we are about to judge the validity of various listening texts. So this is an English 9 lesson, particularly in quarter 3. So for the most essential learning competency, we have to judge the validity of the evidence listened to. So for the objectives, so at the end of this learning session, learners are expected to define various listening text, study the 10 principles of listening, identify the factors to be considered in validating a listening text, and validate the speech if a tree falls in the forest by Lord de Vera. So maybe in everyday life, we listen various texts that play crucial role in one's information and communication. Assuming that you woke up with the sound of radio or television that your father's or mother's favorite news report plays. So, listening has been an important part of one's communication. It has been defined by the skills you need that come as the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process. It is not quite the same as hearing, for it refers to the sounds that enter your ears. So, hearing is the physical process, while listening is somehow associated with the cognitive. Any text that can be hear or listened to is referred to as a listening as listening text. So, listening is very important in interpreting and discerning the message being conveyed in a communication. It is, dif dif it is different from hearing for listening is the process of discerning, while hearing is the physical uh, process of, of, uh, of detecting a noise or a sound. To ponder your learning about listening, these are the 10 principles of listening according to the same web company that a good uh, listener must embody. First, stop talking, just listen. Don't interrupt when somebody talks. Second, prepare yourself in listening. Relax. Third, put the speaker to ease. Help the speaker to feel free to speak. So in that way, uh, he or she can subtly state her, his or her ideas. Four, remove distraction. Focus on what is being said. Five, emphasis. So try to understand the other person's point of view. Six, six patience. So a pause, even a long pause, does not necessarily mean that the speaker has finished. Seven, avoid personal prejudice. Try to be impartial, focus to what is being said, and try to ignore styles of delivery. So kung medyo uh, hindi siya ganun ka, ka, savvy, ka, ka fluent mag-speak or may tono siya, let us try to understand his or her background. No? 8. Listen to the tone. Volume and tone both add to what is some what someone is, speak, is saying. So tone and... Uh, and volume uh, shows the emotion of the speaker if he or she is determined, if he or she are is uh, is tired of talking. So you can you can detect on his tone. So number nine, listen for ideas, not just words. You need to get the whole picture, not just isolated bits and pieces. So. 10. Wait and watch for nonverbal communication. So these are the gestures, facial expressions, eye movements that uh, that all that can be all important. So example of listening text. So we have podcast, debate, news report, audiovisual presentations, music videos, speeches, lectures, homily, researches, and any other text that can be listened to. Uh, as we uh, accord to the definition that any uh, text that can be listened is a listening text. So validity. So validity as referred by this clipboard com is to how accurately a method measures. So what it is intended to measure. If a listening text, text has high validity, that means it is reflecting results that correspond to real properties characteristics, and variations in the physical and social world. High reliability is one indicator that the text is valid. 
Meanwhile, Wikipedia defines it as the as the extent to which a concept, conclusion, or measurement is well founded and likely corresponds accurately to the real world. The world the word valid is derived from the Latin val validus, validus, meaning strong. The validity of a measurement tool is the degree to which the tool measures what it claims to measure. So, uh, in other words, validity is how the text uh, shows as a valid thing, no? Uh, with uh, correspondence to its characteristics, no? With the basis of its characteristics. So, factors to be considered in validating a listening text. So, Sarah Blakes Slee of California State University of Ch Chico developed a tool that will help us determine the validity of sources across all disciplines. It is the CRAP test, or it stands for Currency, Relevance, Authority, Accuracy, and Purpose. So, by the way, Sarah Blakes Lee was an American landscape and portrait painter. She was a sport shooter and further won various awards in sports. Number one, currency. So this is the timeliness of the information. It is very important to know if the information is uh, is is updated, no? Because there are information that is outdated and obsolete, no? Second, relevant. So this is the importance of the information for your needs is the information relevant to the claim no so in the next video we will understand claims and counterclaims so third authority so the source of information who is the source of information it is known to be a uh, to be to be good it is known it is notable institution so we have to consider that accuracy next accuracy so this is the re the real about the real the reliability, truthfulness and correctness of the content. Is the content reliable or reliable, truthful and correct? So may history ba siya ng uh, ng ng uh, ng deceit yung ano yung yung pinagkunan yung source ng information. And lastly, the purpose, the reason why the information exists. So the history behind the information or the listening text, no? So benefits of validating a listening text. So number one, it avoids misinformation, fake news, and propaganda. Number two, it hones us to be critical and analytical thinkers, making a general criterion of truthfulness. Number three, it invites active listening and deepened reading. Okay. Now that we have already know the factors to be considered, let us try to validate the speech uh, from the book Lord Duverry's Little Book of Speeches entitled As If a Tree Falls from the Forest. So in this speech, Lord was sent by the uh, British Council to be representative of the Philippines in Edinburgh World Writers Conference that was happened in June 2013 at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So the event's theme was censorship and literature. But before that, let us know the background of the speaker. So Lord Rivera is a three-time Don Carlos Palanca awardee, frontman of local jazz rock band Rage Active Sago Project, and a writer of three pro poetry books, Subterranean Thought Parade, Shadow Boxing in Headphones, and Insecticismo. So Lord is not an unfamiliar name or face to many. In fact, he is seen in TV commercials, but more importantly, in TV5 World Word of the Lord and History with Lord as Modern Dream Street Philosopher and History Guide. So in the next slides, I'll give you five minutes to read the listening text or the speech.
So after reading the listening text, let us try to determine if the sentence is right or wrong. So kindly write or kindly uh, state if, t if the statement presents a correct statement and if wrong, change the underlined word to make it right. So let have an exercise to modify true or false to know if we understand something from what we read. So number one, the Manila Times photoshopped the, he the head of President Kolar Arroyo onto the body of Curvilist bikini model with a D cup and it was published on the front page no less. Number two, hearing is the physical process while listening is somehow associated with the cognitive. Number three, Ferdinand Marcos imposed martial law on the Philippines in 1973. Number four, Primitivo Mijares wrote one of the banned books in Marcos' regime. It is entitled The Untold Story of Imelda Marcos. Number five, the word valid is derived from the Latin word validare, meaning strong. To check if your answer is right or wrong, kindly uh, get back to the listening text. Next, for the comprehension questions, so what does culture of impunity implies in the selected listening text? Does De Vera qua qualify the currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and the purpose in his speech? Yes or no? Justify your answer with different evidences. And this ends our learning session for today. If you, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and God bless.